Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment. Well, this time, the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to sit back out and head west again and go do our bounty and then check out some new areas. Uh, so I spent um, some time off camera hauling all of the stuff back from the Talon headquarters, uh, Fort Bannister, I think it was called. It took me three trips, I think, to get all that back. Uh, I offloaded as much stuff, you know, from my inventory as I could. So I was light as I was as light as possible and uh, brought back all that stuff. So I had over 5,000 coin, but then I spent some coin to, you know, fix myself up and I bought some more ammunition and, and did, you know, pay for some repairs and stuff like that. Uh, so we're certainly uh, currently sitting at 4,596 coin as in terms of the weapons that I decided to keep, um, I'm keeping the Marine service rifle. I really like this weapon here and we might actually uh, take it out and use it a little bit. Um, see if we can get a, a look see at it from a third person view. Uh, so I'm keeping that. Um, I'm keeping the security service rifle uh, that we found. So I, I really like the, the look and feel of this weapon here. Um, and here's the Here's the first person view of it. So it's got a nice little reflex sight and everything. Uh, let's see what else. We're keeping the field shotgun. I actually, uh, this is the shotgun that dropped off of that uh, behemoth, super mutant behemoth that I showed you at the very beginning of the video. I just kind of ran into him when I was <laughs> going back and forth. I was like, oh my God. Um, but as I showed you, I did manage to kill him before he killed us. And he, he, he dropped a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, including this shotgun and, you know, a bunch of ammo and some other things like that. I think he dropped a pistol, too. And uh, I just really like the look at the, of, of this shotgun, so I'm keeping it. I don't know if I'll actually ever use it, but I'm keeping it. Um, let's see. We also have the Mercenary Assault shotgun uh, that I brought back from the uh, Talon, Talon place there. And um, Thunderclap. So Thunderclap I went back and got, too. This thing's pretty beefy looking. Uh, it's, it probably packs a pretty decent punch if, uh, you know, if, if I fix it all the way up, uh, which I haven't done so far because I'm not, I, I don't really want to, uh, you know, waste weapon repair kits on these weapons unless I'm actually going to use them. But we have that option of trying it out later should we decide to do so. All right, let's put these uh, extra weapons back that we're not currently using. And we have our, uh, we're, we're going to be carrying the snake lore the Mercenaries Machine Gun, the Sniper, and the H&K for our weapons, which is pretty much the same loadout we had before. Uh, you just can't you just can't beat the DPS of this machine gun, even though I'm one point um, shy in terms of strength. Uh, it's still effective, and, and I probably will put uh, another point in strength when we level up again, which, by the way, we are, oh, about, two, uh, about a third, a little over the, a third of the way to the next level. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so I think we're going to set out. Let's take a look at our map here. And the plan is to go all the way back uh, out to the west. This is Fort Bannister. That's the Talon place that we took over. We're going to do our our bounty here. And then I don't expect that that will take too terribly long. And then we'll probably head north and just kind of check out some of these other points of interest kind of up in the northwest there. So I will meet you um, on the western side of Fort Bannister, which will be new territory, and we will go from there. Commencing.
First mistake. What in the world? Okay, that was weird. Is that a talon? I like how they say it's go time after they're dead. What is this place? Hmm. I think that's Wolfgang. Hey, hey, looking to buy? Hey, hey. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Mmm, maybe. It's more like I think I'm going to sell you my random junk. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, sell you this. And that and that. I'm going to uh, Yeah, I'm going to sell the energy cells too. Can I have the vodka? And smokes. 328 caps. Nice. Thanks. Whatever you've got, I've got just the thing to... He's got a 100 repair skill. He can repair that for 0% for 1 cap. 1% 1 for 5 caps. Yeah, we don't we don't need to spend any money on that. All right. So this seems to suggest that this might be a community or something since the traders here. Good to see you. That was a super mutant camp over there. Let's just see if we can figure out what this place is. Is it on my map? No, it's not even on my map. It's Landmine Alley, that's what it is. Okay. Hmm, that's Raider stuff. Oh, shit. Hit the side of the train there. Hmm. How is that not? There we go. Not my best shooting.
Well, whatever this place is, it's obviously controlled by raiders. How do I get up there? Alright, let's just keep going this way and watch out for mines. And the game crashed. All right, we're back. Down with the sickness. All right, I hear weapons fire. I'm surprised uh, we haven't discovered this place yet. There's movement up there. Who's out there? Relax, fellas. The trouble's over. Relax, fellas. The trouble's over. I keep trying to get a headshot off on him when he walks by. All right, he's coming down. God damn, what was that? Did he throw a grenade at us? I don't know. Or maybe he stepped on a landminer and I, I got hit by part of it. Alright, we'll take all of that stuff. And definitely take those. Look at that. Alright, awesome. Maybe we should use some of that to fix ourselves up a bit. Where did he come down at. I thought I saw him come down a ramp somewhere. I don't see it. That looks like a trap that somebody tripped. Maybe he tripped that it was a, a grenade bouquet. That's probably what it was, I'll bet you. There's someone right there. There's someone right there, too. Okay, we timed that one good. Down with that sickness. Alright, says we're in danger, but I'm not sure from whence. 
overcometh the danger. Okay, let's go up around this way. There's a dude up there. Or a dudette. We have combat music. I just don't know where it's coming from. You got a feisty one. I'm hitting the side of the fucking train, not him. There we go. Oh! They got a behemoth in a cage. Damn. Someone over that way. He's down. They got him in an electric fence. Evergreen Mill. We're at the Evergreen Mill. Okay. He's down. That's nuts, man. Who the hell keeps a behemoth super mutant as a pet? There's a couple guys way over there. Those don't look like raiders. Those look like prisoners. All right. Um, We lob a couple grenades in there and try and take this guy out. <laughs> I hate to have him come loose. I wonder if there's a way I can set him loose and have him attack the enemies. Thing is, is I'm sure he would attack me though too. That would be kind of funny to see. I mean, not him attacking me, but attacking the bad guys. All right, let's hop down here. It says we're in danger.
I wonder if this place is uh, going to be a quest that we have to do later. It probably is. Go up to this little shed up here. There's a grenade bouquet right there. Door to guardhouse. Right, let's get this out. Nice. Take the wrench. Evergreen Mills Slave Pen Key. Fan frickin' tastic. You know what I'm thinking though? I'm thinking about not setting them free because this is almost certainly going to be a quest that we're going to do later. And we kind of did the Lincoln Memorial stuff out of order and it screwed it up a little bit. Not terribly, but and usually you know, I mentioned this before, usually you can do these quests out of order and they kind of work out, but I'm a little bit leery about that because of the Lincoln Memorial thing. But we'll hang on to the key. So if we do get the quest, then we can come back and set the f slaves free. Of course, we'll have to kill everybody again, but that's okay. More XP and loot for us, right? I think it's probably time to put these on. Here's a victim. Ah, it's go time. Stand down, boys. Stand down, boys. Um, let's see how much that range master rifle's worth. Not a whole lot. All right, we'll keep it for now, but it'll be one of the first things to go. What we can do is take and repair one of these with the other. Make it even more valuable. Let's go check this little shack up here. Probably shouldn't be picking up a lot of beer because it's not 
I don't think it's got a huge D VW. Let's see. Yeah, it's only two. Vodka has a tw has 20 and whiskey has 10, so they're worth it, I think. But beer, maybe not so much. Got a bunch back at the pace anyways. And 200-year-old beer. Hmm. I'll pass. Oh, nice. Look at all these wrenches. Goodness gracious. Oh, hello. Goodbye. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, I think that's a, a Rad X. Yeah. We want the Rad X. I don't know what's in this. Cigarettes and Mintats. One flamer fuel? Probably not. Five frag mines, three missiles. Meds and duct tape and more meds and a scout book for uh, survival. It's a good thing. Let's look all... Oh, well, there's a water in there. It was right... There. Money, water, water, money. Take it. Okay, I think that's it. All right, I believe we've pretty much cleared the out outside of this location. There we go. Now we discovered it. Evergreen Mills. I think um, I don't think that needler is worth a whole lot. Let's look. All right, let's poke our head in here. Saw somebody back in there. Okay. I was going to say, don't look down, and then he just looked down. Not gonna take any of that stuff. Forty-two 
45 auto pistol and a cowboy carbine. What are our values here? That's a 24 VW. And that's only a 14.5. Alright. We'll hang on to them for now, but they'll be one of the first things to go. Our frag mines. Can't open that. 308's our favorite. We'll take all of that. Easy safe. Flare gun. Average first aid can't open. We'll leave the pork and beans. Door to Evergreen Mills Bazaar. Oh, I think they might have spotted us. Or at least they think they saw something. Hiding from me? You better hope You were saying? that radio at? Sounds like it's over here. Lever axe and shotgun. Probably not worth a whole lot. Buff out and a wrench. Man, we have pulled a lot of wrenches out of this place already. Case in point. Yes, scrap electronics. Okay, I think we're done in this room. Activate broken terminal. It's broken. Right. There's a body in there. Go up this way. It's really bright in here. I think we're gonna take those off for now. I don't know if we can shoot through that rail or not. Sure enough. Negative. We're going to have a nice little fingers cash in next time we go to headquarters. that 
Not worth a whole lot. Is this a rifle or a shotgun? Huh, it's a 5.56 rifle. I kind of like the look of it. It's different. Huh. It's got like a composite stock. All right. Uh... Again, we'll hang on to it until we have to start throwing stuff away, because none of these weapons are really worth a whole hell of a lot. You know, it's fun. Oh, shit. Killing time. I was going to say, it's funny that uh, we haven't really found a whole... Oh, I just got an achievement. I missed what it was. We haven't found a whole lot of new weapons, uh, with the exception, of course, of that amazing submachine gun that we found. But we've been using these kind of the same weapon loadout for a long time. Not that that's a bad thing. They're damn good weapons. They've served us well so far. Broken terminal? Okay, can't, can't do anything. Oh, here comes, here comes a bad bad. Hey, he's got a cause, just like ours. No wonder that hurt so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't think we're gonna take the heavy armor. Look at that. All right, that thing will be worth some bank once we fix it up and sell it. Freaking best shotgun in the game, man. And that hurt. Antiseptic, a bandage. We'll throw back all of those super stim packs. And... We're probably going to need something else, but let's just see how far along that gets us. That service rifle's pretty damaged. Evergreen Mills storage room key. Okay, I'll take that. All of those are empty. Two weapon repair kits. Scrap electronics. Oh, this is the loot in here is good, man. Nuka cocktail. Frag grenades. So the weapons kind of suck, but the loot's been great. All right. Is this a new cell? Uh, no, it's just a locked door. Is that a trap? Or is it just... Oh, it's a fat man sitting on the desk. All right, I think we have one of these already. Super heavy. Um, but, I mean, it's worth a lot. Even though it's got a terrible um, VW overall. Excuse me. All right. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of a couple things. We haven't picked up any armor. 
Let's loot everything else that we're going to loot, and then I'll have a come to Jesus meeting with my inventory here. That laser rifle's in pretty damn good condition. Very easy safe. Another weapon repair kit. Uh, uh, bleh, repair kit. Can't talk tonight. All right. Uh, let's see here. Thirty-six, ninety-four, eighty-one, one twelve. 7641 262 bonus critical chance. Okay, that's got uh, only 13.5 VW. Let's get rid of the scout rifle. That's 12.5 Four, but it, I repaired it, so it's worth 112 caps. We're going to try and hang on to that one, I think. Um, the lever action shotgun, or, yeah, shotgun. I think we're going to ditch that. 45 auto pistol, we're going to ditch that. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the cowboy carbine. We're still overweight. It's because of that fat man, man. All right, we. Uh, I already have one of these. It's just too fucking heavy. I mean, I could always come back and grab that stuff later too, just like we did before. It is an option. Okay, I guess we're done in this building. There was the um. That H and K. What's that worth? Oh, jeez. 13.8, yeah. Don't think so. Okay, this is a cell change. Let's do a save. This is the Evergreen Bazaar. Nothing in those filing cabinets. Oh, is this like a, a black market place? Because a bazaar is usually a like a market, right? <laughs> Look at those dice. Uh, I'm assuming that guy's an enemy. Well, why wouldn't he be, right? Police saw machine gun in pretty damn good condition. Okay, that's 116 with a VW of 17.8. I think we are going to ditch the 
Colt pistol and the range master. Shut the fuck up. a guy that walked up this way. Oh hell yeah! yeah. That, that guy. Tear him apart. <laughs> Tear him apart. Yep, you do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yep, you make sure and tear him apart, man. And that Watts rifle's in terrible shape. I think we'll pass on it. That metal reinforced armor is probably worth a little bit of coin, but it's going to be heavy as shit. Please, some machine gun. What el what else am I carrying that's so heavy? Oh, you know what? It's all... What's that? It's all the wrenches and things I've picked up a bit. I mean, we have 14 wrenches. Well, it's only 14 pounds, though. I mean, still. Scrap metal, scrap electronics. Got a lot of ammo. Okay. Uh, That's worth 116. I mean, honestly, the H&K um, close assault weapon system is not worth as much as I think it should be. I don't suppose we need two of them, though. Okay, well, we'll get rid of it then. I know I could use it to re repair this, but... And also you just use weapon repair kits for this. We're just plain not passing up wrenches and scrap electronics and scrap metal. That's sacrilegious. Interesting. I do not remember this place when I played Fallout th three years ago. Of course, maybe this this could be a mod modded area. I don't know. Not sure. Butter knives. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, oh, my God. Look how much damage this Nuka cocktail does. That's crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. We pretty much had to drop every fucking weapon we've found so far. That's worth 262 coin. We've just loaded up too much on some of this other stuff, you know. Moonshine has a VW of 20. Wine has a VW of 10. Let's drink a couple of waters. Um, and we can have a steamed Meyer Lurk too. 
Killing time. Hold still, lady. Damn it, Jim. Oh, there's a stage here. It's <laughs> with a pole. They do pole dancing with bottle caps. Of course there's bottle caps down here. Don't mind if I do. This has been more of a junk and, um, uh, what's the word? Resource looting sesh and not so much of a weapon looting sesh. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting down for a show. Yes, I know. I'm over encumbered again. Okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of moonshine, scotch. Vodka is pretty damn valuable. Uh,. All this food, except for the MREs we can put in here. And the Myler kicks. Alright. See, that? that's quite a bit of weight right there. That 12.7 millimeter submachine gun is in good shape, A, and it's got mods on it. What is that all about? Okay, it does 312 DPS. Hmm. Look at that thing. That's beefy. <laughs> Loud as fuck, too. It's worth a lot of money. I think we should try and hang on to this. 12.7 millimeter ammo is very uncommon. I have seen it, but I haven't seen a lot of it. How much is this armor worth? 304 caps. It gets us three caps. <laughs> Look at the red lights on their boobies. That's hilarious. All right. Yeah, we'll see if we can hang on to this. That that gun's worth a lot. Oh, I didn't get that quantum down there. Uh, worth a lot of money. Does this go anywhere? Oh, yeah, it does. See an enemy. That's right. Kick ass. Madam's key. So this is a cat house. Thought it was more like a market, but I guess, you know, stripper poles and stuff. Oh. Are you Come on, boys. Fresh meat. Oh, I was Kick gonna ass. say, it looks like you're locked in a cage. I was gonna let you out, but if you're gonna pull a kniffy on me, that won't go well for you. Damn it, there's just too much shit in here to loot. Go time. Ah. When you turn up, you're dead. You did. When you turn up, you did. Oh, 
There you are, you little bastard. Yeah! Tear him apart! Ah. Uh. I can't. <laughs> it didn't shoot through the barrel. Uh, through the barrel, through the bars. That's a shaky medex. Open the safe. A recharger pistol. Uh, the moonshine. Actually, yeah, the moonshine does have a pretty good. Uh, VW. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything we can put in here? Don't really want to get rid of any of the rest of this stuff. Gonna have to do something. If there was a reloading table around here, I could take the ammo apart. That would lighten us up quite a bit. So let's ponder that while we continue to loot stuff and become even more heavy. Lady, you're lucky. That there was a bar in between you and my shotgun slug. And I still might come over there and take you out anyway. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Oh yes, I'm here. When you turn up, you're dead. When you turn up, you're dead. I'm, I am, I'm terrified. Come on out. I promise a quick death. All right. So that's about it for up here. We are, wait, what? Why did why does that turn white when I put my my cursor over that? I don't know. How much does flame refuel weigh? It's worth a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, it's got a 100 VW. We're not getting rid of that. So in fact, all of this ammo does. The railway spikes don't, and that's three. Yeah, okay, let's get rid of the railway spikes. So we still have to get two pounds back. Uh, we could drink the water and eat the Meyer Alert cake. Except for we don't need to, though. Damn, I don't want to waste it, you know? I really don't. Okay, well, this is worth 304 caps. But it is heavy. The mercenary, oh no, that's our machine gun. This is worth 116, that's worth 262, 486. So I think the police submachine oh, gun needs to go. All right, where did it go? Only a fucking coward hides. Every time I f drop a, well not every time, but often when I drop a weapon, it like just disappears, like it falls through the world or something. Bitch. And that matters in case I want to come back and grab it later. Ah. Damn it, Jim. Yeah, I don't know where the hell it went. Okay. <laughs> mouthy. Mouthy, mouthy, mouthy. You should have kept your mouth shut. I might have let you live. Uh, 
What the hell? T-45 Power Armor of Love? Okay. <laughs> uh, so, what am I supposed to do with that? I might just have to come back here, just like we did with the with Fort Bannister. It's just too much stuff. That is funny, man. Two charisma, radiation resistance, speech. Don't we already have... Yeah, we got Buttons Wig that gives us 10 speech. Okay. Well, I'm going to store that in here. And tentatively plan on coming back here off camera and grabbing stuff. Okay. Never thought I would ever come across power armor of love before, but I have, and you guys are witnesses. Where the hell does this go? So since I have made the decision, 353, to come back here, I'm not going to loot all that stuff. He looks like an interesting character. I mean, he doesn't look like your normal raider type. I have a feeling, though, he's he might be the ringleader of all these assholes. armor. Alright, let's get this gun out. Let's also top off. Alright, let's just see what he does. Are you a bad bad? Oh, hey. You're not. You know those rookie idiots that tried to head up north? Rookie idiots. See, I'm glad I didn't shoot him. Okay, hold on. Um, let's put on our jammies. Hey, man, relax. We can do business. The rest of these guys around here might not want anything to do with you, but I got no problem with you. Well, not with your caps, at least. So you must be a fence. What's your repair rate? Sure thing. It's terrible. Okay, what do you have for sale? Fresh out of the hands of some mark. Take a look. Yep, he's a fence. Okay. Um. I like his f 45 Ammo. He has no 308s for us. Let's uh let's sell a couple things to him though, just to lighten up. Alright, so you can have the laser rifle. And uh, this I wanna actually keep. Just because it's kind of a unique weapon. Uh, you can have this metal armor. 
That'll lighten us up a lot. Um, let's sell him. Oh, never mind. Okay. Sell him all the all the money. You can have all the cigarettes. He's gonna run out of cash here. Yeah, he just ran out of cash. Okay. So let's buy back from him. Uh, we'll take all those 20 gauge rounds. Oh, that still didn't clear him up. Okay. I'll take your slugs. We have three more coin. We got to get back from him. How about we buy these pressure rounds from you? There we go. He has 27 caps. <clears throat> I wish he had some 308s. So, yeah, I mean, if he had more money, I could I could come and go, you know, go loot some more stuff and sell it to him, but he doesn't have any money left. Unless I just wanted to buy all his fucking ammo. I've got <laughs> I've got a lot of ammo and ammo supplies back at the base now by this point except for for you know stuff for 308s. All right. Don't like your deal? Tough shit. Bye. All right. Well, thanks for not shooting at me and I will not shoot at you as long as you don't shoot at me. And I'm gonna steal your stuff if you're gonna since you're not gonna let me. Maybe that's not his stuff per se. That's kind of oh my god. You would think this is oh, here we go. You would think this is his shop though, and so why can I just take stuff willy nilly? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go to breakdown, and we're gonna break down every piece of ammo we have except for what we're actually using at the moment. Knock it off. And this will lighten us up a bit. Uh, I'm not going to break those down because they are that's pretty rare ammo. We can break that down and that down. Now, let's go here and let's make 308 armor piercing and... 45 pressure rounds and 20 millimeter uh, sl uh, s normal slugs. Three twelve, three fifty-seven. Okay, so we lightened up a bit there. Smiling Jack's locker. I guess we would have to kill him to get that, or. about those newbies the ones who went up north looking for raids uh no i didn't <laughs> it just feels weird i mean i know he's a fence so it's not like he's a decent person but it just still feels weird taking all this shit okay uh i know i'm a greedy bastard aren't i I'm not going to take any more wrenches. I got so many wrenches, I don't know what to do with it. Do with them, rather. Maybe he's letting me take it because he knows I'll blow his head off if he messes with me. Could be. But that's all I'm going to take. Okay. Police submachine gun. How much weight do I have? I don't have a ton of weight. So I'm going to, hmm, those missiles are valuable as all get out. But they're also, they're also a bit on the heavy side. Well, the fact of the matter is, I'm going to have to come back here if I want, if I want this stuff. And, of course, like I said, I'll do that off camera. 
Let's grab this quantum though. Is there a grape Nuka Cola in there too? No, I don't think so. All right, well, if I ever play this game again and I decide to play as a thief, we now know where to go to sell stuff. I would suppose, and I don't know this for sure, but I would suppose that if you create an evil character that maybe the raiders don't attack you on site? It's like you become their part of their faction or something, maybe? Because otherwise, even if you were a thief, you'd still have to kill all these guys to get in here. All right, is there another... Open gate, are you kidding me? There's gotta be a scenario where you open him, let him out and he goes and kills all the, everybody Time around. Oh, shite. Northern Shack. Well, we both know the answer, don't we? No, this shouldn't take long. America. You want to be my new friend? No! Oh! There is no hope. That chance is right here, right now. Okay. Again, we're leaving the whiskey. Uh, I'm sorry, the wrenches. Well, the whiskey too, for that matter. Um, because we have so many of them already, and they are getting heavy. And I'll come back for them later, probably. Probably, maybe. This is the same style of shack that uh, our headquarters is in. Bottle cap mine. Did we loot you? We did not. Nuka grenade. Sexy sleepwear? No, thank you. Take the weapon repair kit. There's so much loot in this place. All right. Well, that's uh, 
No, that's a, that's a normal work. Wait, is that? That's an ammo workbench, right? No, it's a normal one. Okay. We could make some weapon repair kits right now. You know, why don't we do that? Because I'll bet you one weapon repair kit is lighter than the stuff needed to make it. There we go. All right. We've actually dropped quite a bit of weight. All right. I guess we've hit everything in here. Um... Was there a way to get in this building? If there was, I didn't see the the doorway for it. I just like to kill the rest of the bad bads to get their fingers more than anything. Because all of our time inside was kind of over in that area. There must not be because that would be the door to get in there and it's blocked off. All right, we could kill this thing. Just throw a bunch of nades in there and... we probably get some serious XP, but the thing is, is I'm just wondering if it's something we would maybe want to, you know, uh, keep there for if and when the time comes for us to actually do this quest. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and head out of here and we'll we'll go finish our our bounty cuz it's not very far from here. There were a couple of bad bats we killed up there. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind getting their fingers. Just got to figure out how to get up there. Is Wolfgang still around? No, I think that's Crow. Search here to acquire a new mantle. Um. If the clothes make the man, if the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake. Yes, yourself. 461 caps, but. <clears throat> I'll sell him the alcohol. Yeah, I just don't really have anything else to sell him. I mean, I guess I could try and run back and grab some armor, Another but... Satis Walk well, friend. Evening. He, evening. He might be gone by the time I get back is a problem. Okay, so the question is, how do we get up there to loot those bodies? Evening. Maybe we come around this way? I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, so we killed him, and I think we killed somebody. Nice. Can we kill somebody up here? I thought it was I thought there were two two raiders that we killed up here. There's that one there. Maybe 
Maybe they were over this way. Nope. I guess not. I don't know. Okay. Well, we found the one anyway. Looking to see if they were on top of the train cars, maybe. All right, let's get out of here. Take a look at the map and head over to the makeshift shack.